Alrighty, 1998 Ford Ranger with a 3.0 liter V6 engine, four-wheel drive manual, shift transmission. This is the floor patch repair auto seam sealer. I'm talking putting this seam sealer on, okay? So you guys seen in videos uh for day four and day five where I uh, did some primer sealer on this. Well, it's been a while and I'm back. So now it's time for seam sealer. Basically what we got here is you're gonna be scuffing up. All, I scuffed up all the edges here. I used 150 grit sandpaper. You can use 220. It just helps with adhesion with the seam sealer. I'm using an Evercoat brand. Yeah. You can use bug and tar wax remover. This is a Rust-Oleum or spray away glass cleaner just to just to clean off all the, the debris and it takes off any residue oils. Okay. Okay. So that's what I did. Did it prior. I just want to get on to doing. So here we go. Let me just wipe it down. I use a towel. Be careful using a towel because it could use leave residue of fibers and then later on I'll use a uh, tractor tractor paint my international tractor paint there that in that farm red that I used all right so let me get going here hopefully I got some seam sealer left oh yeah there he goes I'm just gonna start here and go at it so underneath it was great I want to tell you it you can actually see here in the little areas where the seam sealer actually came through. Okay, that's the testament of this product. Whoops, let me get the film back on here. Got knocked out. So that's the testament of how great this stuff will seep into all the, the, the nooks and crannies of this metal. Metal. And, uh, and this is just extra added to me insurance. Of sealing out any water that might incidentally get up in there any incident of grime or anything and then I will put paint over it which hopefully will keep out anything else so I have multiple layers of primer probably five coats of primer I have about four coats of paint underneath and of course there's the welding itself which welding doesn't really necessarily go for porosity. I'm, I mean, of keeping out water, but, and, um, and I actually put on, uh, yeah. So I mean, I, I'm very confident of this repair. Very confident that I will not have Barney rubber style going down the road, Flintstone with the feet going through the floorboard. Uh, you guys can do this type of work. Just. Just be prepared, like I was saying earlier, that that you very well, you know, because th this floorboard here had some rust going on, you, you might have to take out a bit of the floorboard to get at it. But, like I say, using that button cut technique of uh, laying over metal over the rusted hole, and then uh, cutting in the metal which is in itself is a template in itself if you understand what I'm saying uh, you're gonna you know you're gonna save on some some material and you're and you can leave what's good metal is in there and uh, and the old metal will just fall right out so. the cure time on this is about 30 minutes till painting all right if you want to know a little bit more specifics about this product, it's about 30 minutes. Uh, 12, I'm sorry, total cure time is 24 minutes. This will harden within 30 minutes when you want to paint or do more priming over or whatever you want to do. In my case, this is going to sit up uh, over 24 hours because I got other things I got to do. So this is going to sit here and just sit. And when I get back to it, you can. Uh, and let's see I would recommend also using this product probably wear rubber gloves um, 
because this stuff does uh, like to stick and it adheres very well to uh, let's say skin so so anyway so that's that right there and uh, I have a spoon that I was using let's see if I can find that spoon there it is good old spoon and I'm just gonna work it in work it in a little bit I'd rather have I'd rather need more than less I can always uh, sand off what I don't need if I wanted to make it all pretty like but I'm not concerned about the prettiness I'm about functionality and uh, I bought this uh, this seam sealer actually at uh, Advanced Auto Parts and uh, you can find it at AutoZone as well I think I at the time it was like $19 for the tube and I've I've used more <laughs> I've no I know I've used quite a bit more than you could say technically necessary for any job but again this is but I've 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 liked I liked uh, the, the results of this uh, I've seen people use fiberglass kitty hair a bondo in some of their jobs in the past and it has seemed to work as well but uh because i'm going out of a tip it was easier for me to just just use a seam sealer hence uh you know like i said but if you get creative i'm sure you can get like results and it just depends on uh what you want to do and maybe what your pocketbook can afford on some of these repairs Uh, what else do you want to keep in mind? Uh, I'm just really trying to build it up on the seams now that I've spread it out along the actual working area. Yeah, this is nice. But yeah, I'm definitely working smarter and not harder. I used my finger and smeared it in on <laughs> on one of my days. What is it? Days five videos. Oh my lord. I was using like Brillo pads and acetone and nail polish remover. Not my own. My significant and others. I know what you're thinking. Um, to get all that stuff off. And uh, it worked really well to... Uh, to remove it but it was just a waste of time when I could have just used the spoon method to uh, put this in and as you can tell I'm just making this all pretty like now sometimes well enough once you get it to a place where you want it well enough leave well enough alone okay you can nick and pick at it all day long and it's just gonna move around on you I just I just want to really build it up in there. There we go. This has been a very satisfying experience doing this. You all can do this. Uh, most professional places I've taken this truck to wouldn't touch this truck with a proverbial 10 foot pole because of the year and the age and it's it, there's a bit of time to do something like this uh, I'm sure a welder could would maybe do this or but or somebody but like I said for the cost of benefit and whatever your time is worth uh, when you when, when you're doing stuff like this this is really restoration um, cars go trucks vehicles go to the boneyard like get donated to places just because of rust and if you're willing to really just cut out whole sections of rust on your vehicle um, and put in fresh metal and do a seam sealer job and, and all that stuff, you know, your vehicle 
this patch will probably outlive the rest of what's going on down here. And uh, I originally was from a salt state up in the northern climbs. And we did stuff like this all the time. And I've seen repairs like this last for a good bit of years. Uh, so, but again, if I say total invested in this job, materials, I don't know, five bucks for a patch of sheet metal. Evercoat was, I rounded up to 20. That's 25, just in, just for the material there. And then some sanding paper, and say a, five, uh, a sheet of five. Now you're looking what? Uh, five a pack of say seven say seven bucks so you're at 33 32 uh, of course you're gonna have to have assortment of hammers you know uh, say a say a hammer like five bucks Harbor Freight maybe our uh, I'm gonna go that right there maybe a uh, what else sanding discs Harbor Freight I used a 40 grit, uh, it's like five bucks. You're up to what, 40 bucks now? Where else? Let me see here. Uh, sander, cheap, portable sander, 20 bucks. Yeah, uh, you know, those cheap jobs, you know, 60. Uh, what else? Uh, the caulking gun, three bucks. What else here? You know, so I'm at what, up to 80 bucks? And then whatever your time is worth per hour. You know? So, only you can be determined of that. And then how long did it take me to really functionally do this? I don't know, I have to add up all the minutes on my videos. Uh, I don't know, I'll just say, I don't know, maybe, I don't know, 24 hours? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how much time it really took. That's a good question, how much my time is actually worth um, in terms of doing it myself. Well, <laughs> so anyway, but you're looking at 80 bucks in material, right? You're looking about 80 bucks in material. I'm just putting a little bit more in here. I don't know if you could, you probably can't see it on the edge, but. So if you're still with me, great. I am, all intents and purposes, I have been done. I'm just chawing into the, the mic, talking to myself. But, uh, but you guys can do this. We're not talking perfection. We're just talking better. I just want to be better than average. <laughs> if average is just getting by, well, I just want to be a little bit better than that. <laughs> just a little bit better. Because I give a rip about what I about my about the stuff I own. So yeah, this it's already been uh, I think ten minutes. And man, this stuff is already setting up. This is the longest I've actually physically worked with it. When I was underneath the truck, I didn't, it was particularly hot and crazy that day. I just got in and got out. So, this is kind of neat seeing it set up. So, there you have it. I'm using a plastic bag here to, I don't know, I don't know if the tip will dry out or what will happen to the tip. But I've had this open for a good month. I've had the seam sewer with the tip open for a good month and I've had this little Ziploc around it, zippy, and it hasn't dried out yet. 
Alrighty. So, let's go ahead and show you now from another view, if you're still with me. So that's it with it all smeared in with the spoon, all built up on the edges. I will pan in there nice and close. Look at that. And then yes, you can sand this down if you want to texturize it or, or make it smoother or something like that. You can do that. I'll pan out. Alrighty, so on a, I'm gonna let this set up for a bit of time, and then the the next video will be the finished product of it looking red. I'll paint the whole floorboard with. Uh, I'll do a quick sneak preview. I'm gonna be using this farm Rust-Oleum equipment heavy-duty rust resistant weather resistant rust preventative matches original equipment covers international harvester red only because I have a red paint code e4 cardinal red <sighs> okay so there you have it this is Ablecraft here if I can do it you guys can do it better and let's see what we have for mileage it's been a while what, 175,668 miles on the vehicle. Nice. Alright. Trying to see how this thing actually does like those little snapshot. Um, so let me try to. This camera's like. Camcorder is like 20 years old. I haven't quite figured out all the intricate details. Anyway, sometimes you can take like it'll sh if you hold it long enough, it'll take a like a picture. And those are like those little stills. All right, I'm just rambling. All right, guys, this is Ablecraft. If I can do it, you guys can do it better. You are able. <laughs>